Hello, bicycles! Welcome back to Oxygen Not Included, where last time we finished off this monstrosity. So everything is in, uh, so we can actually fill in here the walls. So that once we have then connected up the, the power wire, which should just hanging here uh, in limbo, we can start the pumps creating a vacuum in here. But today we will work a bit on this side here. Uh, where we have to squeeze in the setup for converting crude oil into natural gas. And the setup is 24 blocks high and 19 wide. So we have something there that we cannot break and we have something there which is uh, 21 which is uh, all good because that means uh, we can have uh, ladders on either side. Um, Let's also go up to here. That brings us to 26. And probably this will cause a bit of a problem here. Um, Let's just do this and as with the other thing there, we will tackle this from the top and so we can really dig out the thing that we need. And we will have ladders here on both sides. And then we will have to deal with uh, vacuuming this out as well. Uh, but I guess um, building this up that will take us more than one episode as we did it on this side. Because this construction, while being smaller, uh, it's also a bit more intricate. So. Uh, let's just dig this out and then we will see where we stand. As you can see, the duplicants have dug out all the space here. So now we can start putting things back in. And I guess... Uh, we also want to dig out a bit more down here so we can walk under uh, and also uh, have power cables from both sides because as it is we will pull this wall up by five then connect to here on this side we go to there and then we have 
Power, power, power. There it is. And then basically we will have a wall or a roof there. Three more. Two in. And then up. And also here on top we will have power. And here we will have another opening. And let's just add a few letters there. Uh, maybe a bit higher. Because then we can actually reach the ceiling there to build it. And on the inside, it will be more segmented than it is, but the way I see it, we will have two main segments, one around this that we will vacuum out and then the rest that we can vacuum out. And uh, which means here on this side, we will have the uh, gas pumps anyway uh, to pump up the natural gas for our generator. So uh, we do not need to have a lock here, but I guess here we probably should have a lock that I will build up once we have uh, all the walls built. Now with all the walls in and the uh, power wire led out from here to the other side where we have a transit tube access. I also already managed to, or the duplicates managed to put in a lock here, uh, which of course does not yet make too much sense uh, because we still need to uh, to deal with, with a few things. So uh, let's continue here with our internal uh, wall here that will go down to there and then we will basically pull this over to there and that will be double sick for white and then four high this goes up to here And then we have this here. And here on this level, we will have one there after the safe in a space of three and then the same again no 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 that's wrong that's wrong space of three Again, space of one, space of three. That also looks wrong. A 
let me figure that out. However, down here, because down here, that's basically the hot end down here, we will have a few aqua tuners. Um, but the temperatures might be a bit hotter than um, in our average setup, so building out of steel will not work. So if we go into that room, we will actually have to go with Termium. A space material and and let's have a bit of this here and that so, I mean, maybe my counting from the top was wrong, but we will see. And maybe we should have an access at uh, this vacuum uh, down here, because up here. We will actually have an airflow tile and we also make out of chromium. This one out of steel, that should be good because uh, until we get to this point uh, where we pump out the natural gas, uh, the gas should be uh, cool enough, I think. All right, let me figure out the, the, the dimension because up here we will bring in the crude oil. We'll go down and until it reaches uh, this level here, it should have heated up enough to turn into sour gas which means it would go out here and then down here where we are cooling it down uh, turning it uh, then it goes up again and then we can pump it out on this side all the work up here is done but i decided that actually i want to have uh, an entry also down here because on this level we will have a separation and uh, then it becomes really difficult um, to pump out the, the gases. So what we will do is separate this then place in the separator there and then I still need to figure out the layout up here and of course uh, how to divide this this big room up there so once I have done that I will be back with an update as it turns out I actually have been two blocks high so I set everything two blocks lower. Uh, also laid out here the inside, and here we come in with the with the liquid uh, oil, the crude oil. It will drop down and gradually heat up. And for that we have here some diamond shift plates and on the side we have thermium metal tiles uh, that can stand the heat. And the heat is basically transferred here from, from down below with the two 
metal tiles need to complete this but first I have to uh, finish this control wire uh, which opens and closes this door based on the temperature that we have in here so basically the crude oil drops down turns to petroleum and then is just heated up a bit more and turns to sour gas and then rises again as the as the liquid falls down and is squeezed uh, up here through to this side where it goes down again and here uh, that's where our cooling will happen and then we get I think uh, liquid methane that we cool down here and then put out uh, here on this side but because this is a bit warmer than down here it will turn into gas uh, go over to this side and uh, we can pump everything out um, I made these of steel uh, hopefully that works out I have not done all the calculation uh, because um, the we can actually check because over here we have a bit of natural gas so um, condensation point is minus 60 160 so that's the temperature down here and it will be heated up there so um, basically then the question is here on this side we will have the sour gas uh, which will uh, exchange heat to this side um, will it exchange so much heat that we are above uh, 275 degrees I would guess not uh, but we will probably uh, see pretty soon uh, and once we're finished this here is is closed off and probably we want to have a, a kind of a, a shut up a shut off switch where we basically can stop the, the whole machine which is probably done easiest by just blocking this liquid vent so no more um, uh, crude oil is coming in however uh, the, the start up is always a bit uh, tricky uh, because uh, the, the temperatures need to uh, to get to the uh, correct point and now we can actually fill in this gap and then we should be able to plan out uh, this this lower part here um, there we will have steam engine for the cooling and on this side I think four thermo aqua tuner and in here quite a bit of uh, of water so all that needs uh, power wiring and uh, uh, the, the piping but anyway, um, uh, this does not work because we will not be able to reach the wall there. So 
so yeah. Let's make some progress and then have another update. As you can see, our duplicants have made quite a bit of progress. Then here we have thermo aqua tuners, all made of thermium. thermium. We also have a gas pump in here that we used to uh, create a vacuum. And then we have a steam turbine here, which is steel, which will probably not work. Because here we have around uh, 550 degree. And then here the steam that will be between 700 and 800 degree. And then on this side of the thing, uh, we will be cool enough. So actually what we probably don't need is um, have these metal sheets out of thermium. Because if we look, thermium has 900 plus uh, overheat temperature. Uh, niobium has 500 plus. So I think here we are good with, uh, with niobium. So let's do that. Replace that. And then, hopefully, we have enough thermium, uh, not right now, to build a steam engine out of thermium. And the problem with uh, thermium is not that we do not have uh, enough niobium. But we... What? No, 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 no. Um, definitely not out of lead. So, um, problem there is we are lacking Wolfram. And uh, the only source I have found so far was down here a small pocket so I went exploring a bit more in that direction because there is still a dark spot but does not look like there is any more Wolfram on this uh, this side and this means uh, without wolframite we cannot create any more tungsten and without tungsten we do not get thermium so we have to use the thermium that we have sparingly and use our rocket to get ourselves a bit more niobium so that we can use niobium um, where 500 plus degree is just enough. So uh, let's set our rocket up again for another start towards niobium. And then I think we are pretty good um, to finish off the, the lower part to seal that off. There is one piece that we still need to, uh, to put in there because um, once we uh, close off here, uh, we cannot come back. So, 
Niobium, Niobium, Niobium. Yes. And yeah. Only 19 kilograms niobium left. Um, but let's open the door and then we shall start our next rocket to get ourselves a bit more of this precious space metal. Using niobium instead of thermium is a slow process because if you look from one rocket start, um, we get 2% of uh, niobium. So uh, we have two cargo bays, that's, that's two tons. So per trip we get 40 kilograms uh, of niobium and one tile uh, takes 100 kilogram, uh, which is two and a half trips. So the other alternative is that we go out until here, where we have a stellar body that provides tungsten and wolframite, quite good quantities. However, we will certainly not be able to reach it with this rocket setup. We will need uh, a few more uh, liquid fu fuel tanks. Um, and I think we have to reduce the number of cargo bays to one to reduce the, the, the weight limit, uh, kick out the research modules, um, and then we should be able to, to get out there. So that's probably the program for the next episode. However, today I want to finish off this room down here because basically we are done. Um, we need, uh, because once the sour gas it comes in here and then through here where it is cooled down, uh, turns into uh, uh, liquid methane. Um, we get sulfur as a uh, as byproduct and um, we have to ship that out. And for that we will do this. If we look at, yeah, we also should connect that there. Because then all the piping for the for the lower part is, is done. All the wiring is done. We don't have any, well, we do have gas, gas pipes in here for uh, hydrogen atmosphere here. We have this one, uh, which we basically now can get rid of. And once that's built, oh, I, I will let the duplicates build, but that, that's it then for this episode. And next time we will focus on the rebuild of the rocket so hope you enjoyed this episode and join me next time until then goodbye